I just shipped some major updates and I'm launching something really new. After months of building, testing and learning, I'm finally proud to announce the newly improved Antify. But before I dive into what is new, let me break Antify down into simple terms. Antify is built for one single purpose, just for one purpose, to help you organize YouTube videos and playlists into structured lessons so that you can finally stop overwhelming and start learning with a clear roadmap. No more random videos, no more getting lost in the algorithm, just pure focused learning step by step. I learned the first version not long ago. That was in the beginning of this year. And since then, I've received feedbacks, I've listened to users, I've made mistakes and learned priceless lessons. And today, I'm back not just with few tweaks, but with major updates. Because look, I don't want Antify to just be one of the tools you try out. I want it to be the tool that transforms your learner, especially if you're a junior developer here struggling to learn program. So this is just the beginning. After building numerous field softwares to now building and launching a successful one, I want to teach you how you can also build your own software and launch it successfully, so that you don't have to go through all the tries and errors. So instead of you wasting months and years, building something that users don't want. I want to make the process quick for you. I want to give you a step-by-step -step approach I wish that I knew when I first started to build my first startup. Listen, I'm not here to show off what I built. I'm just here to give you a blueprint that I wish that I had when I started to build Antify. My first launch was painful. I made mistakes that cost me money, time, and confidence. Mistakes that I could have avoided if only I had someone to guide me along the way and show me how to truly launch a successful software. That's why today I'm doing what no one did for me. I'm giving you everything I've learned the hard way just for free. I will show you the exact steps to launch a successful software online. I'll break down the hidden mistakes that quietly kill most SaaS projects before they even have a real chance. I will hand you a simple plug and play system you can follow to bring your own SaaS app to life with clarity, speed, and focus. Because look, I know how it feels like. I know the doubts that creep in when you start to build and launch your own software. I know the fear of putting something out into the world and hearing nothing, having no customers or no users. And I also know the feeling of pushing through, the feeling of learning, and the feeling of also building and launching your own successful software online. This could save you months if not even years of trials and errors. All you have to do is to be willing to take the steps that I'm going to share with you. And trust me, once you do, you never look back. So step one, getting the right idea. Let's start with the foundation because without the right idea, everything you build will crumble. Here is the real truth no one is telling you. The best ideas don't come from brainstorming or group work. They come from your own problems. Ask yourself these questions. What am I struggling with right now? What problem keeps slowing me down, frustrating me, draining my energy? Because if you are facing a problem, thousands if not millions of people are also facing the same problem. When I first started to learn programs, I didn't have a clear roadmap. I was just learning all on YouTube, learning random videos. The videos wasn't structured. I was overwhelmed. I had no clear path, no structure. And this is the idea that sparked Antify. So if you look at Antify, it is just my own problem. It is just my own problem that I tried to solve. And that was what? To create a software that will organize YouTube videos into structured lesson and a course for you to just take and follow. I didn't create Antify because I thought it would make money. No. I created Antify because I thought it would solve my own problem. And that problem is what? Learning. And guess what? When you build a software that genuinely solves your own problem, you are halfway to success. Because real problems create real solutions. And real solutions create loyal customers. Don't overthink the process. Just start with your own problems and your own struggles. And start to think of applications and softwares you can create to solve that problem. Step 2 start building immediately don't waste months researching don't waste weeks analyzing the markets don't get trapped in the endless cycle of second guessing yourself because here's the truth overthinking kills more dreams than failure ever will when i first started to build antify i didn't spend months and weeks analyzing competitors analyzing the market and doing research no when the idea just packed i started building was the first version really good no it wasn't even close to being good but here's the thing you cannot improve something that doesn't exist so you need to start creating it now before you can start improving your software most people lose 
because they try to think their way to success. The winners win, the winners take actions, and they just build and learn by doing. Just start now. Build a simple version, maybe your MVP, ship it, get feedback, and iterate on it. Over time, it will finally become a successful software. So step three, map out your project from start to finish. Listen, first doesn't mean building blindly. You need a map. You need a map to follow. Because without a perfect plan, even the best ideas, get lost in chaos. When I started to build Antify, I didn't just pick my PC and started building. I took a step back and I asked, what exactly is the problem I'm solving? What are the three and five main features my users absolutely need right now? What's the simple path from idea to working product? I wasn't trying to build a perfect version for the first month. For the first month, I wasn't even trying to build a perfect version. I was just trying to build the necessary version, the version that is needed to work right now. Because when you know exactly what you are building, you stop chasing shiny features, you stop redoing work, and then you stay focused. Think of your project like a house. First, you lay the foundation, then you raise the walls, then you add the details. You don't decorate your living room with your roof still missing. Same with the software. Try to map it out from start to finish. Have the processes and the taxes that is needed from the start to the finish before you even start to take action. Next step, launch your MVP in just one month. When I bought my first software, here's some huge mistakes that I made that caused the software to fail. I spent months perfecting it behind the scenes. I kept adding features that no one even asked for. And guess what happens? Nobody used it, nobody cared, and it failed. When I started to build Antify, this time I did everything completely different. I gave myself just one month, just one month, to build and ship my minimal viable product. Not a perfect app, not a complete version, just something good enough to solve the core problem. And you know what happened? I launched 130 users signed up in the first month. I got real feedback, I found real improvements. One of the biggest upgrades I made to the software is that I made it easy to use. When you open the software, I try to make it easy to use. For me, that's how I create my softwares. If I'm creating a software, my goal is just simple. To make it easy for someone to use. That is always my goal. I don't care about the design and anything. I always try to make it simple for users to use. So here's what I want for you. Set a 30-day deadline. Build your MVP. Ship it. Adjust later. That's how winners move. Next step. Your software must be empathetic and user-centered. Let me be brutally honest with you. Nobody really cares how genius your code really works or how smart you wrote your code. Nobody really cares about your code. And nobody cares how advanced your software features are. People care about one thing. Can it make my life easy? That's what they care about. They care about how your software can really make their life easy. How it can solve their problem easily if your software doesn't feel easy for users to use if it doesn't solve the user's problem they will soon leave it when i launched antify this was one of the feedbacks people gave me it's so easy to use that wasn't by accident it was my design my designs are always simple i try to make my designs just simple from day one i tried to make antify with one mission in my mind make it simple make it obvious make it helpful your software needs to do the same thing here's what i learned the hard way listen deeply to what users are struggling with cut the complexity designed for humans not for your ego because in the end it's not how brilliant your app looks it's about how brilliant it makes users feel simple always wins helpful always wins empathy always wins never forget that next step leverage multiple channels for early users never launch your application on one channel if you are connected to facebook groups facebook pages any network at all you have or any page you have at all try to post it over there when i launch antify i post it on product hand on my youtube on my TikTok. And guess what? My TikTok drive a lot of users to the software. The more places you show up, the more chances you have to connect with users. Most of you want to learn front-end and start building easy, simple websites and launching your own softwares like I did. And that is why I've launched Frontend Accelerator just for you. So if you are struggling with front-end and you want to learn front-end, 
and start building your own application. I'm creating Frontend Accelerator with one mission to help you become a frontend developer with the fastest possible time. And how am I going to do that? I'm trying to synthesize the course for you because most of the courses out there, they are not synthesized. They're just teaching you unnecessary stuff. I'm trying to make my course simple and cut through the noise, remove what's unnecessary, filter unnecessary things out and make the journey easy for you to become a frontend developer. So if you are interested, I'll leave a link for you to enroll in the course and I can't wait to see you in the course. If you also started learning HTML and CSS and you want to know how you can leverage HTML and CSS to start earning and making money from it, make sure to watch my next video and always remember every expert was once a beginner and I can't wait to see you in the next one.